Wendy here at the Osterville Village Library and today I'd like to show you some finger plays and short songs and rhymes that are great to do with a toddler. And these things are great to sort of have in your toolbox for when your child is fussy, when you have to wait in line, all of those things. But um, they're also really great for the development of gross and fine motor skills. Um, they're a precursor to literacy skills. So these are a wonderful um, way to interact with your little guy to learn a few of these. So our first one is called, Where is the Beehive? So we start off and here's your beehive right here. Here is a beehive. Where are the bees? They're hiding inside where nobody sees. But soon they'll come creeping out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. And these can always end with a tickle at the end with your little guy. So let's do this one more time. And you notice that that one also incorporated counting, which is great. So here we go. Here's the beehive. Where are the bees? They're hiding inside where nobody sees. Soon they'll come creeping out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. And again, that can sort of end with a little tickle, which is real cute. Uh, the next one I'm gonna do, you know, I'm sure. Uh, a great one to do at bedtime, obviously. Um, I've added some additional movements to it. This one's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So I start, I tell the kids I'm gonna start by my hands are twinkling like this. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I'll do that one more time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And this is a good one, obviously, to do at night or at nap time to sort of add into your routine. Um, but it's also a nice sort of quiet, soothing song if you need to kind of settle anybody down a little bit. Um, the next one that I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna do another sort of old favorite, but a really good one. Um, and this could be done with babies as well as toddlers, and that's the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Again, um, finger plays also help with those gross and fine motor skills, so even the motion of making the spider um, go up and down the water spout is, is a learning skill for little guys. All right, so let's go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. And at the end of this, with my little one, I usually booped their nose at the very end. All right, so let's do that one more time. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. And if you would like to see many more finger plays, um, a great resource that I use a lot is a YouTube channel. Um, it's hosted by two young librarians and it's called Jbrary. That's J-B-R-A-R-Y. It's awesome. Um, I highly recommend uh, going there if you'd like to learn 
more finger plays to share with your child. So uh, thanks for joining and I hope you will try these at home with your little one and have fun. Bye.